Hey cousins, it's Rosie and in this video we are making chili. Now I like my chili a little between mild and hot. Y'all can customize it to your taste buds. This is super easy. So the first thing what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you everything that I have out, okay? So I have some ground beef and as you can tell by the shape, I just used a cheap old roll that I got at the stove. If you wanna use the expensive stuff, you certainly can. I have some chili mix. You can use whatever kind you want. I got whatever I grabbed first, to be honest with you. I'm using a yellow onion. It's a sweet yellow onion. Chop up a sweet red bell pepper. And I'm just gonna do a rough chop. It don't have to be pretty, y'all. Just make sure it is chopped to your preference. If you like yours diced thinner, then I like mine. Knock yourself out and go ahead and mince that on up. So this is actually good for me because I like a thick chili, like it to be nice and thick. Just like me, nice and thick. <laughs> okay, so this is chopped how I want it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a start on the ground beef, y'all. And this is, like I said, it's the cheap kind. I'm using, I believe it's 70-30. If you wanna use 80-20, you can do that. But I'm not going to. So dump the bone in there. And you know, let me turn this heat up to medium high. All right, cousins. So I am just going to let this heat up a little more. And we're going to brown the meat. And then once it's nice and browned, we are going to drain all that fat out. Let it get nice and browned. And let's just make sure we have everything out. So we have our onions, we have our bell peppers. Again, remember I'm using red and green, but if you wanna just use one or the other, you certainly can. If you wanna use orange or yellow, you can do that too, okay? Do you, boo. Now, for me, I don't like a lot of beans in my chili. I like more meat, but if you like more beans, you can certainly add more beans to yours, okay? Now, don't forget for the exact measurements for my recipe, head over to my blog, iheartrecipes.com. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn this heat off because, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. No reason, just want to. And I'm gonna come over here and drain out all of the fat. Okay, so what we're gonna start adding now will be the peppers and the onions. Sometimes I add a little celery as well when I wanna sneak in like some more fillers, but I don't feel like chopping some up right now. So I'm not gonna do it, but if you wanna add that, go ahead and knock yourself out. All right. And now I'm just gonna make sure everything is well combined. Then we're going to cook the peppers and the onions until they're nice and translucent. You want them nice and softened before we go to the next step. So we are almost there. The onions, the peppers, the beef smells so good. So what I'm gonna actually do now is I'm going to go ahead and add in some garlic. I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm going to use some minced garlic. If you want to use fresh garlic, you can. So the next step is going to be adding the tomatoes, and I have my fire roast tomatoes. Go ahead and use whatever brand you decide to use, y'all. You can also use garlic as fire roast tomatoes if you want. I'm just gonna stir that on in there, and I love a nice, chunky chili, y'all. So I don't know about y'all, but when I make chili, I like to serve it with cornbread and crackers. That's all I need, cornbread and crackers, or I can even just do crackers, to be honest with you. So that's in there now. We are going to grab some tomato paste. I love my tomatoes, y'all. Now, if you have some fresh tomatoes growing in your garden, feel free to use those as well. So now I'm going to add in some beef broth. Now, sometimes when I don't have beef, Broth. I add in vegetable broth and that adds a lot of flavor as well. And now I'm going to add in some beans and I'm going to use some kidney beans, but sometimes I also use pinto beans, okay? So, and I did drain it before adding it in because I don't like that slimy liquid. We're going to add in our chili seasoning. I'm using mild, okay, if you want fire, you want some more spice, go ahead and use hot. 
going to add that whole package in there. And again, I know that I'm going to need more seasonings because I just added one package of the chili seasoning. So instead of adding or overdoing it with the chili seasoning, what I'm going to do is add some seasoning salt. And you can use your favorite. I won't overkill. All right, y'all. Also going to add in some black pepper. Now my seasoning salt does have black pepper in it, but it just does not have enough for this. So I'm going to add some more. And you know what y'all, we're good. So just fold those on in there, fold all of the ingredients together, give it a nice stir. Look at that. It just looks and smells bomb. And what you can do is you can try it See if you need to add some more salt, pepper, maybe some more garlic, onions. Give it a try. Just don't double dip because that's nasty, okay? So if you're gonna try it, use a spoon one time, then toss it. Don't be double dipping if you're serving other people. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low. And we're just going to let this cook for about 30 more minutes, okay? Really quick, no need to let it cook all day. Ain't nobody got time for that. Just 30 more minutes and we're good. All right, cousins. So I believe my chili is done. It's been simmering. The house smells amazing, okay? And now we are going to plate the chili. And you can put whatever you want on top of your chili, but I'm just gonna show you what I like. One thing for sure, I like to stuff in a bowl. So I got the chili in there. One of the things that I love, I love a nice amount of sour cream right up top, in the middle, on the side, however you get down. I'm going to add some cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese. As long as there is some cheddar in the mix, I'm good. Sprinkle that on the top. All right, so the cheese is there. I'm gonna add some onion, and y'all know I love color, so I'm going to use my purple onion. Now, on the side here, I'm gonna add some lime. I don't know what it is about me and lime, but I love to add a little bit of lime on my chili. And to add a little more spice, I'm just gonna add some jalapenos. Just gonna add a couple sprinkles. Of some red pepper flakes and you know what i'm good and that's it y'all so let me know down below in the comment section what y'all like to add to your chili what are your favorite toppings don't forget to share this video on facebook with all of your friends and you know what i'm about to dig in so i'm just gonna like put the cheese in a little bit so it can get nice and hot and kind of melt a bit my mouth is totally drooling right now so here we go. Look at that cheese, y'all. It's just melting away. And I want it to get on my chin, but it's going to. The best. The freaking best. Head over to my blog, iHeartRecipes.com, so you can get the exact measurements. Don't forget, while you're there, go ahead and get my sweet cornbread recipe, too, because it will be banging with this right here, okay? But again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you want to see me make next. And I will see you soon.